as expected in the burning of the Wentworth Castle. Read all about it. Fire and sea, boys. It's terrible. Extent 400 lives lost in accidental burning of Wentworth Castle. It's the latest back street. Millionaire ship in Mac Nick. Fire and sea, boys. It's All my life, I'll see those poor people struggling in the water, drowning. But it wasn't your fault. But it was my ship. My company's investigation absolves you completely of all blame. Now then, if you'll be good enough to sign this paper, and we can have it with us. Yes, sir? I want you to witness my signature. This is Victor Martin, our attorney. Martin, meet Mr. Baldwin of the Mercantile Marine Insurance Company. How do you do, Baldwin? Here's the check, Mr. Wentworth. And if I can be of further service, please call on me. Thank you. Good day, gentlemen. Anything else, sir? You read the changes in the will? Oh, yes. I have it with me. Clause 9 is the important one. Everything goes to your daughter, Cynthia. Another problem off my mind. I hope you'll pardon my mentioning this, Mr. Wentworth, but you've been acting very curiously lately. Well, now this will. Well, what? Can a man make his will? Of course, but if you're thinking of destroying yourself... Forget about it. Why should I want to commit suicide? Well, your ship burning and all. I suppose it's been preying on your mind. But I'm not fool enough to kill myself over it. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I suppose you'll be uh, going off to your mountain lodge? Not yet. Why not? You mean that matter of the million and a half in bonds? Yes, that's on my conscience, too. I advised you against accepting that shipment. I know it. It's the only shady thing I ever did in my life. Then you'd better go before the Maritime Commission tomorrow and clear the whole thing up. Vic, are you crazy? No, it's the only thing to do. But they'll immediately accuse me of sabotaging my own ship. You'll have to take that chance. I advised you against it when you first asked me about it. And now I advise you to go before the Commission. Don't conceal a thing. I'll do it. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you in the first place. It'll come out all right. I'll see you in the morning. We'll go before the commission together. Oh, good day, Mr. Fleming. Well, how do you do, Mr. Martin? I'll take. Fine, thank you. And yourself? Never better. Uh, could I see Mr. Wentworth? Well, I'll see. Mr. Wentworth, Mr. Fleming Sr. is here. Send him in. Yes, sir. You go in, please. Thank you. Hello, Cyrus. So you've come to gloat over me because one of my ships went down. Oh, you're wrong again, Cyrus. I came to offer you my sympathy and my help. I don't need your sympathy, and I can't conceive of any help you could offer. Then why can't you see that the consolidation of our two shipping lines would be of benefit to both of us? Get this, Fleming. I'll see my ships all burn before I'll put up with you. All right, all right. What about our kids? And if you think that you can worm your way into my business through a family marriage, you've got another guest coming. Yeah, but my boy has no part. You've in never that. done anything in your life, Fleming, without an ulterior motive. All I ask you to do is to keep your office of consolidation away from here and to keep your boy away from my girl. Hello, Mr. Fleming. Hello, Miss Reed. Can I see Mr. W? Well, I think so. Your father's in there. Dead? Yes. Cyrus. You're a hard-headed, stubborn old fool. Well, Dick. Hello, Dad. What are you doing here? 
Well, I came to offer old Cyrus my condolences. I can just imagine how you made out. And if you're calling on him about what I think you are, I hope you get a better reception. Don't worry about me, Dad. I can shout, too. It's about Cynthia, isn't it? That's right. She's waiting at the truck for me. Regardless of the outcome in there, we're going to get married even if we have to run away to do it. Well, at least you have my blessing, son. Thank you, Dad. I'm sorry, but he won't see you. He won't, eh? Mr. Wentworth, I have something important to tell you. Your father's too old to throw out of here, but you're not. No, Get no. out. Wait a minute, Mr. Wentworth. I came here to discuss something. That I'm not interested. All right, I'll put it this way. I want to marry Cynthia. No, that's clear, isn't it? Hardly. What's your objection to me? Your father. My father isn't marrying Cynthia. Neither is his son. Oh, Mr. Fleming, I'm Hello. glad to see you. How are you, Matthews? All right, Mr. Reed, you may go. Sorry to hear about the ship. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, I to get married. Well, it's not so much the loss of the ship as the loss of lives. There's nothing genuine in you. My father... I wonder who that could be. <laughs> My boy, bearding the lion in his den. Try marrying her against my will, and I'll break you in two sooner or later. We're not going to let you browbeat us. Cynthia and I have gone over this very carefully, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. Oh, isn't there? The conversation was evidently in reference to his daughter. Get out. I think I'll wait for the outcome. you that you can't get away with this sort of thing in this day and age. Cyrus! He's dead. Did you call the police? No, it just happened. You gentlemen stay here. Fine, Bobby. What do you have? Same as you. Martini, please. Well, what's up? Bobby, I want you to forget your newspaper woman for once. You're going to do a favor for me. Mm-hmm. What's it this time? Can you keep a secret? Secret? Now I know it's a story. What is it? Oh, please, Bobby, we need your help. We? Yes, Dick and I. Oh, I get it. So you're going to be married. Oh, I'll give you a swell break in the paper. Oh, but I don't want you to print anything about it, at, at least until it's all over. That's why I called you. You're going along with us. You mean you want me to stand up with you? Well, always a bridesmaid. When do we start? As soon as I hear from Dick, he, he's up with Father now, telling him about it. Even if we can get Father's consent, we're going to do it anyway. An elopement! Oh, boy, what a spread that'll be. But my paper gets the story exclusive. It's a deal. What was <laughs> telephone call for you? Keep your fingers crossed. What's the damage? Let's see, that will be uh, four dollars. What'd she do, buy the place? No, that's the price, a uh, dollar a cocktail. Mm, well, I better take the pearl, keep the change. Thank Bobby. you. Bobby. Oh, Cynthia, look, why, what's the matter? It's about Father, something's happened. Calling Mr. Wagner. Calling Mr. Wagner. Any trace of the gun, Mike? Not yet, Cap. Did you find anything, Blake? No. What's new, Doc? Died almost instantly. A bullet in the heart. Job for the coroner. Sure, sure. Open and shut case. This is one time I got the murder dead to rights. What time did you say that Fleming boy arrived? Ten past six. You sure of that? Absolutely. Everybody else had left. Were you here then? Yes. That cinches it. If you mean my son, he didn't do it. You're the boy's father, aren't you? Yes. Well, we can't take your word for it. The evidence proves it. You said you heard loud voices. Yes. Where were you when you heard the shot? I was out there. I was just about to leave. And your son thought you were out there? No, he thought I had gone. Where would he be now? Well, I don't know. You don't seem very certain about that. You haven't got an appointment to meet him later, have you? No. What were you and your son doing here? Well, I came here to offer my condolences to Mr. Wentworth over the loss of his ship. What was the boy doing here? He came to ask Mr. Wentworth's permission to... to marry his daughter. Oh, that's it. They had a quarrel and the kid killed him. That's all I want to know. Blake. Yes, Chief. Did you phone him and have him broadcast that kid's description? Yes. Says I'm gonna have him picked. Mr. Fleming, what is it? My dear, your father. What's happened to oh, father? Please, you must be brave. Please. 
Who are you? She's Cynthia Wentworth. Quiet, Logan. I'm Cynthia Wentworth. Who are you? Captain Street of the Homicide Squad. Homicide Squad? Yeah, where's Dick Fleming? Dick? Isn't he here? What's happened? Please don't tell me. Cynthia. Don't butt in. All right, Bill. Bobby, it's... Oh, Cynthia, darling. Bobby, it's... It's something terrible, isn't it? Oh... Calling all cars, calling all cars. General broadcast to all stations. Be on the watch for Richard Fleming, about 22, 5 foot 8, light complexion, brown hair, wearing light sport clothes. Was last seen in the vicinity of the Wentworth building. He's wanted for murder. Don't take any chances. He may be armed and dangerous. That is all. Fleming, aren't you? That's right. You're under arrest for murder. I want to advise you. Anything you say may be used against you. Mike, look the car over. Yeah. But you must. There's nothing more important than this. Oh, you've got to do it. Yes. All right, I'll get it. Bye. Listen, Cynthia. Oh, Mr. Uh, Matthews. I was wondering if I could have the passenger list on the boat for my paper. Of course. Thank you. Cynthia, I've got some wonderful news for you. James Lee Wong, the famous Chinese detective, is going to be special investigator on the case. I worked with him before, honey, and you've got nothing to worry about. He's terrific. Oh, good. Thank you, Bobby. Here you are. Oh, thank you. I'll keep in touch with you, honey. Casey, Captain Street in? Now, wait a minute, Miss Logan. You're not going to get past me this time. Captain Street gave strict orders no one's going in. Okay, okay. Well, I wouldn't think of going in without your permission. What's up? They picked up the Fleming lad for the murder of old man Wentworth. The captain's got him in there now. Oh, boy, this is worth waiting for. How many times do I have to tell you I didn't do it? Everybody knows that you and your father were enemies of Wentworth. That you had a quarrel with Wentworth because he wouldn't let you marry his daughter, is that right? Suppose it is. That still doesn't mean I killed him. No, but you were the last one with him when he was killed. We can establish that. Yeah, and why didn't you take the elevator down? Elevator? Well, it was only on the second floor. It was after hours. I didn't think anything of walking down. Uh, won't hold water. Why didn't you leave the outer office? Mr. Wentworth showed me to the hall. Did you know your father was waiting? No. Why don't you come clean, kid, and I'll do all I can to help you. I don't want your help. I'm innocent, I tell you. So you're innocent. I'm with you there. How are you going to prove your innocence? I don't know. What did you do with a gun? Gun? I didn't have a gun. What about this permit issued to you six months ago? Oh, the, we had a series of robberies in our neighborhood, and I was granted a permit at the time. I forgot about that. It's been in my study desk at home. I never used it. Then the gun should still be there. That's correct. What would you think if I told you I had a man checking that the gun is gone? Gone? Look, your own father admits that you were having a violent quarrel with Wentworth at the time of the shooting. Now, if you didn't kill him, you know who did. I don't know anything about it. Did you shoot him in self-defense? No. Kill him in a fit of insanity? I didn't shoot him, I tell you. Look, son, don't you see? We've established a motive. We've established the fact that you were with Wentworth at the time he was killed. You haven't got a leg to stand on. Now, why don't you make a complete confession? I didn't do it. Lock him up, boys. Have you printed anything yet? No, I'm giving you a break, Bill. I'm holding out until I get all the facts. Well, it's lucky for you, because this is one case I've washed up in a hurry. Well, yeah, well, what's the story? Now, this is the way it ought to be printed. Take it down. Two hours after Cyrus P. Wentworth, well-known shipping magnate, was found shot to death in his office, Captain William Street of the Homicide Squad, acting with lightning-like speed, arrested and charged with first-degree murder, the socially prominent son of Paul Fleming. 
long-standing enemy of the Wentworth interest. Well, you haven't taken anything down. Oh, I've got the most important part, the lightning-like speed of Captain Street. Now, look, this case is closed. I've got that kid dead to right. Mr. Wong, I hope I'm not intruding. Wong, what's brought you here? I phoned him. Are you buttoning into my business again? Sure. I knew you'd arrested the wrong man. You always do. Now, you listen I to me. I just thought I'd like to check into a few details, Treat. You don't mind, I'm sure. You're wasting your time, Wong. Well, time is cheap for those who have it to spend. Okay. If you can prove to this nosy reporter that I'm right. Uh, did you get the list? Yes. What list? I asked Miss Logan to get me a list of the passengers who were on the Wentworth Castle when she was burned. Say, you haven't got a notion that the burning of the Wentworth Castle had anything to do with that Fleming kid killing Wentworth, have you? Well, I've no preconceived notions. That's more than I can say for you, Bill. Hmm, interesting. What's interesting? A number of the passengers were Chinese. That'll bear investigation, Street. Why? Well, you know the burning of the ship was rather suspicious in the first place. It may be that the relatives of those who were lost have an idea of revenge. Oh, for the love of Mike. You mean to tell me that I've got the relatives of 400 drowned people as suspects? <laughs> I'm afraid so, Street. At any rate, it won't hurt to investigate this list. Have at it. Is your car here? Yes, downstairs. Where can I take you? Uh, may I borrow Miss Logan? You can have her for a <laughs> When we get through with the case, the Homicide Squad will be the used car squad. Yes, Captain Street. Have Blake follow Mr. Wong and Miss Logan. I don't want anything to happen to Mr. Wong. Is this the place? No. But you stay here and wait for me. I'll be back in a few minutes. It's Logan. Is here on personal business or in his official capacity? I am here on behalf of the police. of the Wentworth Castle. An unfortunate disaster. Do you recognize the names of any of our countrymen on this list? One, Kai Ling, the most trusted member of our Tong. I have no desire to pry into the affairs of the Tong. But I would like to know the reason of his journey. He was on a secret mission for the town. And what was the nature of his mission? Kai Ling was bringing a million and a half in gold bonds from Havana. Why? Conditions in our country are such that we had to bring the town funds to this country for safekeeping. It had to be done secretly to avoid international complications. So they were being smuggled in aboard the Wentworth Castle. Mm, yes. But Kai Ling was amongst the survivors. So of course you have the bond. No, Kai Ling has disappeared. You know, of course, that the owner of the Wentworth Castle is dead. No member of this tongue is guilty of such a deed. And no one else had any idea of the existence of the bonds? No one else, unless perhaps a rival tongue, but we can't be sure. No. 
thank you. Gee, I'm glad you're back. Get that car, Tom. Oh, you're hurt. No, it's nothing. What is this, a Tom war? Might be. Well, get in, we'll follow them. Not necessary, the police are off. Well, come on, we're going to the receiving hospital. Used a red hot poker. <laughs> this is a ridiculous fuss over a simple flesh wound. Now, never mind. We're not going to take any chances of infection. You've got to have at least one intelligent detective working on the case. How is it, Doc? Oh, just a flesh wound. Now, keep this in the sling for uh, three days. Very well. All right, Wong. Who shot you? Could have been an accident. Did I ask you? All right, who did it? I don't know. Now, look, Wong. I had Blake follow you. He saw that guy pull up in that black car and take a shot at you, and he chased him. Well, then you know what 